Charlie the most annoying fuck in the world by giving him the awesome power of Pokeballs. And I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get on the edge, but it's not working out too well because I keep like moving over ever so slightly. I feel bad because I said I wasn't bad at- there we go. Bat- wow. You son of a cock monkey. Oh, and he doesn't have- he doesn't even have a feather. He's not even gonna give me a feather. Son of a bitch. Oh, I forgot. This guy was one of the smart hackers and he actually didn't give people flowers. Or fu fucking flowers. Didn't give them feathers. I need to hurry on and stop talking to myself. Or I'm gonna keep dying here. Okay then. There we go. I mean... It's all fun and games till Luigi dies a hundred thousand times. It's all fun and games until I fucking mess up a hundred thousand times. Oh my god, just enough! Enough! Hold on, just... Hold on. <coughs> Damn it. Where's the other one? I need the other one. There we go. You do fine, never mind. God damn it, another Chuck. I hate these guys. Like I said, I don't know who gave him Pokeballs, but... I don't know. Kinda glad that's all they gave him. They gave him the ability to actually use... Why did I jump into that? Why did I jump into that? Why did I jump into that? I cannot believe I actually did not get hit by that. There we go. Just kill your ass. I should. I should just not even, like, deal with it. De deal with it. Yay. Halfway. Yay. Stupid turtle. Yay. I'm a little bit too trigger happy, I've realized. I don't know where I get that. I don't even. That's probably from Ratchet and Clank, because that button was always used in that game. Because I got it set for my backwards button be on the the right top but I just it's a little bit too trigger happy with it I think because I use it every time I get hit when I really probably shouldn't because I use it when I you know get a power up taken away but I, I don't know I don't like that oh my god stop it okay just stop being stupid okay good give me your shell I need it for protection Okay. Hey. No. No. Okay then. God damn it. God damn it. Run. Run. Don't stop running. No. Yep. Done. Alright. Good. Oh. Good. I haven't had a chance to bitch about this yet, but fucking Mass Effect 3 is ending. I know this seems like random as hell, but... I just... I just oh my god. I... I just... I just don't like... I just am still dumbfounded by it. It pisses me off. To no... To no end. It pisses me off. Like you wouldn't even... Ah, he just completely stopped me. Okay. We're just not even gonna worry about it then, Chuck Mangione. Or... Yeah, I'll we'll call him Chuck Mangione. Hoot! There we go. Because I like Chuck Mangione. He was funny. Even if he was a bit of a creeper. Even if I did fall and completely ruin that. Need to avoid the red shield guys, because if I remember, they kill you. I know those kill you, but they have a spike on it. They're different than the other ones. They're much different. They're much different. Yes. I don't even I don't even remember fucking playing the game that this these sprites came from because I know they came. That was really short actually. Um, <laughs> god damn it. I didn't even get to talk about what I wanted to. Um, the Mass Effect Three ending was terrible. But, but, Bioware has actually if like officialized that they are releasing 
uh, quote unquote DLC that's more than likely going to be free, by the way, to fix the ending because so many people bitched about it. Literally, it's just out. It was bad, though. I mean, I'm gonna say this as a fan of the game. It was bad. The ending they chose, and I like Bioware. I always have. But that was just that was just not the kind of ending you put at the end of a game. It just it's about as bad as the Deus Ex ending, and that was like, that was by, but I mean that was from kind of Square Enix, like as the publisher, and so yeah, try to get Square Enix to admit something was wrong on a game that they helped publish. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Yeah, we're just gonna get off that. I don't like the ones with the question marks. They scare me. I never know when they're gonna stop. Oop. Oh, cool, we're up on the top now. Hell yeah, Chuck, thank you. I'm not going down, fuck you. Oh, I probably should have went down, actually. Sorry, Chuck, I should have listened to you for once. I should have been an in a smart person for once. Not that that's gonna happen, actually. That's very unlikely, actually. Good lord. Why do I keep hitting that? There we go, now, now we're on to something. Now we're on to something good. Now we're on to something failure-y. I reek of failure right now. Dear God, no! If I could have made that, it could have been amazing. Could have been amazing. A level unforeseen at this point in time. But it's not, because I failed. <laughs> and I completely just... Just, I don't even know what I did there, which is stupid. But the Mass Effect 3 ending was just awful. God awful. Like, just, and it's the same as, like I said, it's the same as the Deus Ex 2 ending. That's not 2, but Human Revolution. That You just hit a button and there there you go. There's your ending. It's, that's... Bad. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not cut out to be a game developer, but, uh... Considering the way that they talked about how they were going to make the end, I failed that. Um, they were going to make the endings, like, your choice actually changes it drastically. It just felt really shallow. And... I mean, I've, I, I've started playing through it a little bit on my own time, off, like, off the record. And, I, I mean, I've saved the quarry and, and the geth now, which... I don't know, what's okay. I'm glad the... I will say this, I'm glad the Geth didn't turn around and actually bite me in the ass at the end. That would have been annoying, and I would have felt really bad for saving them after, you know... I mean, they they were bad in the first game. And I can't even go into that. I don't even know why I tried. I mean, I felt good about saving them because it made them a race, like... Okay, a... Pretty much... <coughs> their own galactic civilization, but... I mean... I didn't want to turn into the Rachni, or yay, I saved them, but oh, they just kind of turned around to bite me in the ass anyway, because they're just inherently evil. Not that the Rachni were inherently evil, they got taken over, but I was worried that the Geth might end up like that, like, oh, they're just always going to be against synthetics because blah, blah, but I figured after the stuff that Legion showed us, it wasn't going to end like that, but still. So I'm kind of glad that we were able to actually do something with the Geth. I just wish it would not have been... Can I ride this guy up here? No, I can't. I'm just going to go. Never mind. I don't even know what I'm trying to do at this point. And <sighs> I need this guy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Don't you look at me. Don't you look at me. I swear to God, he's looking at me. Where do I need to take this? There we go. Totally did it. Totally did it like a champ. Actually, hold on. I have a feeling that this is not where we gotta go. It's not. I didn't think so. This was too easy. Too easy. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you just get that feeling like, man, something's wrong here. And it was. I'm kind of glad I did that. Watch this actually not be the way, and it figured that you were going to use it down there and then go backwards and not go up the, the ladder with it because it didn't think you knew how you could. It feels like we're going backwards. It feels like we're going backwards. 
It truly does. And I feel bad. I think I fucked up. I think I should stop dying. I think I don't give a shit about that fucking mushroom. The mushroom. Okay, we can make it. I I, I was a little worried about that one there. That one looked a little bit that one looked a little bit like a stretch. I did not think that was gonna work. Okay, move. Alright. There we go. Thank you, Rockman. You are a gentleman and a scholar, but like I said, I don't know, I was worried about the gas. I mean, the Koreans were... They kind of sealed their own thing. I don't know why they... That is... That was one of the stupidest points in the game. That before you even had a chance to get... The Koreans were like, we're gonna just go attack the gas. We don't even give a shit anymore. Why? Good lord! Haven't we already... I mean, I don't know if, like, Legion was really shown to them in the last game, but don't you think it would have given them some kind of pause, like, maybe, maybe there can be peace, and they wouldn't have fucking done it. Oh, wow, I just totally glitched under that thing. I, I don't, I don't mind, never mind. Not gonna bitch about it. No! Mine. Itching my nose. Why? Why, mustache, do you have to be so itchy sometimes? Wow. Well, wow. God damn it, Chuck. Stop it. Stop it. I will hurt you. I will hurt you within an inch of your life. See? An inch of your life. And I glitched under that again. Still not gonna complain. Still not gonna complain. I can't even jump on that, can I? Okay, okay. Chuck, gotcha! Gotcha, bitch! Yeah! Suck a dick. Good. I mean, the Koreans, that was just stupid. And then having to choose just made it even worse. Wow, okay. That was bad. Oh, there we go. Made it through that. Now we just have to not get hit by all the baseballs floating everywhere. Propelled by Chuck's inhuman ability to throw baseballs completely straight over massive distances and 8,008 points. If only. There we go. To drop us, and we should be fine. I just don't see why the Koreans attacked, and that just made that made having to choose between them and the Geth, as at least if you didn't have enough Paragon or Renegade, even worse. Because it's like, why? Why? I mean, they put themselves in that position completely un like uncharacteristically because they knew they'd be risking everything why would you risk your entire fucking civilization on that it just doesn't make any sense at all and then having to choose is just like well congratulations something that should have never happened is now making you have to choose between fucking tally killing herself and sorry if you haven't played the game yet but it's it's been a while and if you're watching this more than likely or if you're even paying attention, you you know I played through it, and you know my decisions on it. And I, I let Tally. I didn't think Tally was gonna just completely flip out. I would hoped there would have been a Paragon option to keep that from happening. And apparently, I've missed the uh, the what's it called? Switch Palace. Whoa! I did not know what just happened. I don't even have a button set up for that. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I made it. Wow. Wow. Just fucking... Wow! Wow! Okay, this is getting really annoying. Really, really obnoxiously annoying. I mean, it just... It just should not have happened in the first place. With the, ta like, Talion Legion. I mean, they were good friends. Why couldn't they, uh... The fucking... Corey said, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't risk our entire well-being on a plan this fucking stupid. And then having to choose just made it even worse. And it's like, uh... Uh, and that didn't help the endings. Either. Just a lot of the shit that they put in that game is just... It doesn't feel like it should be canon. 
if you if you know what I if you like if you catch my meaning like it just doesn't it feels like almost fan fiction for whatever reason and I'm not quite sure why that is but like oh the Quarians attacked the the Geth even though it could possibly kill them it's like no thought was put into the fact of what might happen if such a giant political war struggle broke out like the political and just economic ramifications of something like that just does not make sense and it doesn't seem like something a game company as you know typically in depth as Bioware would think would be fine but well maybe I'm just being a nerd I don't even know wow I'm just he's like not even floating down normal god damn it it just doesn't seem 